Well, hey everybody, today we're looking at a cell phone from a company called Ulifo. This is the Ulifo Rugged Armor 14, and that's coming right up. Now, if you've been a long time viewer of this channel, you know I'd, I've never reviewed cell phones before. To me, a cell phone is just that. It's to make phone calls. But with saying that, I do have the iPhone 13 Pro Max. And with the iPhone 13 Pro Max, it's great. I can shoot ProRes. It's a great phone. But we're talking apples. You get it? Apples to oranges. So let's talk about some of the specs of this Ulephone Armor 14 and get that part out of the way. And by the way, Ulephone, they did send me this cell phone free of charge for my honest opinion on this. They did not tell me what to say. They did not pay me for this review. They did not sponsor this review. But this video does have a sponsor and let's hear from them now. And today's video is sponsored by MotionRay. MotionRay offers motion graphics templates, templates for Premiere Pro, After Effects, DaVinci Resolve, and Final Cut Pro. But it doesn't stop there. They also offer a full sound effects library and royalty-free music. Along with all the motion graphics that they offer, they also have stock video assets for you to use on any of your projects and all of these have customizable search features. So Motion Array is basically your one-stop shop for all of your video and audio needs. Click my link below to get an extra two months off your paid subscription. Its CPU on this here is a MediaTek Helio G35. It has four gigabytes of RAM and it's 64 gigabytes of ROM in this phone. It has a 10,000 milliamp per hour built-in battery. So that's phenomenal. I mean, when you think about that, 10,000 milliamp per hour battery. Now I've had this phone for uh, going on just over a month and I gave it a full charge. It takes three hours to charge this phone from zero all the way up to 100%. And I just let it sit without doing anything. I just figured, you know, let's just see how long the battery actually holds up. A week and a half later, it still had 10% battery just sitting there. So that says a lot for the battery life on this. It has a 6.52 inch LCD screen. Its operating system is running off Android 11. So on this Ulephone Armor 14, let me tell you, the first thing I thought when I got this sent to me was, wow, this is one rugged and I guess that's why they call it a rugged armor. This thing is super, super, super rugged. Now, when I say rugged, now my iPhone 13 Pro Max, it has a protective case on it. I put that on there for a reason because, you know, it's an expensive phone. But this one here is even thicker. When you look at both of these side by side, you can see that this Yule phone is much thicker. It's a little bit taller. So if we're going to go, let me lay these down here so you can actually see. So it's about that much longer. What is that? About a quarter of an inch longer. Same width as the iPhone. Now, regarding the GPU, since I don't know a whole lot about cell phones or doing reviews about cell phones, I figured, well, you know, let me just do a little Geekbench bench test on the CPU on this Ulephone compared to the iPhone 13 Pro Max. And I'll show you what the results were with that right now. So as you can see, the results were not nothing spectacular. The iPhone 13 Pro Max, yes, it blew this one completely out of the water when it came to the bench test, but that's to be expected. You're talking about a phone that is $229. So if you look at the phone here, we've got a little thumbprint. So you can actually unlock the phone if you want to choose it that way. You've got volume rocker. On this side, you've got a SIM card. On the bottom has a USB type C charging port that's covered with a little rubber flap here. And it takes, like I said, about three hours to charge this phone from completely empty to completely full. It's got one speaker right over here on the bottom. Up on top, you've got a flap for a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. You've got rubber corners all the way around. It's got a metal bill construction on the sides. And like I said, you've got this, it's just really thick and rugged. I mean, it makes me feel like you can actually drop this phone and not really worry about it too much. I mean, it's got a film on it. I don't know if you can tell right there with that video, if I get some lighting up on it, 
But right up here, it looks like it has a Gorilla Glass type of film on it. Now on the back here, you're gonna notice that we've got three cameras and a flash. Now the three cameras is supposed to have a 16 megapixel camera for photos. And the video quality that comes out of this, keep in mind it's only 1080p video at 30 frames per second. There is no image stabilization on this. And what I'm gonna do, since we have to compare it to something, I have to compare it. You know, it is apples to orange, oh, get it? Apples, apples to oranges. I'm gonna show you a little video clip of this Ulephone Armor 14 compared to the iPhone 13 Pro Max side by side. It's a little video and audio test. Now it is a cloudy day out here, but and it's a little bit on the windy side, but just to see what the uh, built-in microphone sounds like. First the uh, iPhone 13 Pro Max, one, two, three, four, five. And now this uh, U-Phone, or Yule phone, one, two, three, four, five. Got the ability to zoom in. That's two times the Yule phone. And the iPhone will go up to three times. Actually, the Yule phone is at three times zoom. So this should be pretty adequate. Take that back to one and one. And there is no wide angle feature on this Yule phone. And there's no stabilization on the video, but that's something that you can actually just use a uh, phone gimbal for. But I just want to take a look at image quality. From the back of the screen, one thing I do notice, and yes, I am comparing this to the iPhone 13 Pro Max. But when you look at the trees back there, there's a lot of purple fringing going on. So just something to kind of keep in mind. So as you saw from there, there is no image stabilization built into this uh, cell phone. So the video is going to be very shaky. And like I said in the video, you can put this on a phone gimbal if you need to. But you got to make sure that it's a phone gimbal that's going to be able to accommodate the girth and the, the thickness of this cell phone. Now, who is this cell phone for? If it's for somebody that likes to do a lot of gaming, and this one here, I actually did download a game. So as you saw from the gameplay on that, it does have a decent responsiveness as regarding the games on this. So who's this cell phone made for? This cell phone is for somebody that just wants to use a phone, doesn't mind subpar or average photo quality, average video quality with no stabilization at all, but they just want to use it as a phone or be able to browse the web and be able to browse you know, Facebook or YouTube or Twitter and their biggest concern is longevity of the phone to make sure that if it falls out of their pocket or out of their bag that they don't have to worry about it. That's who this phone is actually geared around as opposed to something that's a little bit more tech savvy. So in my opinion, for you know, you have to consider it's $229, so you can't expect everything for $229, but it is a phone. It does take video, it does take photos. You can surf the web with it. It's got 
not the fastest CPU in it, so kind of keep that in mind, but you can play some simple games so that you can browse the web. So that's what this phone is actually good for. So those are my thoughts on the Ulephone Armor 14 Rugged Cell Phone. By the way, product links in the description below, and I'd like to thank my coffee supporters, and I'll put them right over here. Thank them for supporting me on this channel. If you're interested in this, product link's in the description below. As always, I will catch you in the next review. Bye-bye. Telephone ringing in the background. Nothing like a telephone ringing just to really just fuck everything up. Oh my goodness. This is eating up all... This is eating up my SD card on the Sony a7S 3 just waiting for this game to load. It's crazy.